morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here at TransWest and Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're at FI-25 about 30 minutes north of Denver. We are Cimarron and Logan dealers, so if you're looking for a brand new trailer, those are the two brands that we offer. If you're looking for something used, we have everything from little bumper pulls to big LQs that we take in on trade. Now, this is actually a good example of one of our inventory trailers that we bring in. I think it's set up really well for a customer that wants a nice run around trailer. It's got plenty of tax storage. If you want a little bit of a separate area to get ready, change without having to be right in there with your saddles and swing your saddles out of the way, and this is a great setup. This is a Logan Bullseye four horse gooseneck closet tack. So these have been really popular for a couple years. The Logan Bullseye is a very prop popular model that we carry. Uh, we hardly carry any of their lower level models and their upper level models we'll carry a few of. But this mid-level model that they have has a lot of really great features at a great price. So customers are really happy with how these ones are set up. You'll get framed in doors, <coughs> you'll get adjustable saddle racks, you'll get adjustable telescoping divider on the last one and framed in drop downs. So there's lots of different options you can do on these bullseyes without going full custom. One of the things that you will notice is the dimensions on these. So on these four horses you're going to be six nine wide, seven tall. If you want to go wider you need to go with one of our Stockmans or our Riot models. And this is a really nice standard height. This really ticks a lot of boxes for people when they're looking for a really nice run around. Let's go ahead and start up at the front and we'll walk away through. So up front you're going to have the adjustable coupler here. You've got a pin as well as these uh, screws here so that you can get it adjusted properly to the ride height of your vehicle. These Logans are galvanized steel frame with aluminum sheeting. So galvanized steel is not like black steel. We don't have the rust issues you do with black steel, but you do gain the structural strength of steel when you do a galvanized steel frame. Now, if we did an all galvanized steel trailer, it'd be pretty heavy. So one of the things they do to combat that is they do aluminum sheeting, which helps lighten up the trailer, makes it a lot easier to tow around, but you still get that really great strength. I have a lot of people that will come back over and over and over again for these Logans because <coughs> they really like that if they're driving down a lot of rough bumpy roads or anything that frame really holds up well to um, a lot of the abuse that they put them through. Now <coughs> anywhere you have that galvanized steel on this trailer you're gonna have what's called a vortex lining. A lot of people will think it's similar to a, a bed liner in a truck and it just helps protect that galvanized steel um, from any surface rust keeps it nice and clean for many, many years to come. This is where you get a lot of your, your road debris here. And this is all rhino lined in that vortex. So it's gonna keep it really fresh for a lot of years. People are really big fans of that vortex lining. Right under here, this is a nice feature in all their bullseye goosenecks and is they've got this, this nice little light here that's on a switch. So it's really easy when you're hooking up at night, you can back up, see where you're going, especially since this is a black black uh, vortex lining, it just makes it a lot easier for everything to pop up and, and see where you're backing up at night. You've got your spare on the ground here, or sorry, your spare underneath here. It's the same as what you've got running on the ground over there. So these tires are actually warranted through Lion's Head so not only do you have a Logan warranty of eight years structural, two year hitch to bumper, but the tires themselves have a one year no questions asked, two year against two years of roadside assistance and five year against any manufacturer defects. So really great warranties just on the tires, but then you've got your great Logan warranties on top of that. We did just a crank jack on this one. It's really easy for us if somebody wants to have a hydraulic jack on these for our shop to go in and switch one out. We usually can do that pretty quickly depending on parts turnaround time. 
um, but it's something that we do all the time here. So if, if this trailer is perfect for you, minus an electric over hydraulic jack, we've got you covered on that, that front. So as you work your way around here, we've got a five foot short wall on this trailer. So your box length on this trailer is 21 feet, three inches. Really nice handy length to pull around. It's not something that you're gonna regret getting in and out of gas stations. But what's cool about this closet tack setup is this five foot short wall actually has just a cutout here for your closet tack. So if you come in here, you've actually got additional storage back behind this wall. So you've got a lot of room in here um, to bring all of your show stuff. If you're going trail riding or camping, you know, this is a great area for you to put all of your additional stuff. Up in the nose, you've got two, two windows that open up, get a light, nice little cross breeze going through there. Got a light up in the nose and then a light over here on this, this wall little fold down step down below and you've got this marine grade carpet which is really easy to clean on the gooseneck wall and nose as well as the floor really nice little setup in here we've also got an additional switch here for um, your light right over the door here so that's a nice cool option that logan added for their 2024 models they added a ton of lights to this package which has been really well received. In your closet tack, you've got everything you need. You've got four tier saddle racks. These are now adjustable, so that's another change on your 2024s, is you've got these adjustable saddle racks. So all you have to do is spin these loose a little bit. You can run them up and down that pole and get plenty of, plenty of clearance between your saddles. We've got a four tier swing out blanket bar on the door, as well as a nice nice brush box it's got carpeting on the bottom there so if you need to you can take that out and clean everything out and then in the tack room itself you've got bridle hooks wrapping all the way around here on this back and front side everything's carpeted behind those bridle hooks and then in the very corner back there you got a nice big stand-up water tank fits really well in the corner of these bullseyes once again we've got those nice big bright led lights one for the tack room in there and then a nice adjustable one up top right above the door. So lots and lots of lights on these ones. As we work our way around here, <clears throat> on the hip side on, this, on these bullseyes, you'll have bus windows. Um, they've got nice big sliders on them so you can get lots of airflow moving through. We've got four tie rings per side on the exterior. And then you'll see another, another adjustable light up top they also added additional marker lights, so it's going to be really nice and bright as you travel down the road with this trailer. As we work our way down, you'll notice that we no longer have those corrugated side sheets on the sides of these bullseyes. This is actually an extrusion, same extrusion they use on their stock trailers, and this has been a great change. I love these extrusions. They add a lot more structural strength to the sides of the trailer, and they're a lot more heavy duty, so if you do have a horse that likes to nick up your trailer pretty good, these are gonna take the abuse a lot better than just those corrugated side sheets. As far as running gear on this trailer, you'll notice we've got uh, the, the tires on the ground are aluminum wheels. They're load range E tires, so plenty of tire underneath this. Um, they also come with that great warranty and we're riding on two 6,000 pound rubber torsion axles. So, you know, you, they, they definitely axled this trailer right for the amount of weight that they're gonna, you're going to be putting in it. As we work our way around here to the stall area, <clears throat> got these nice big 50-50 big doors here, a load light on the rear. Every stall has an additional light, so all of your controls are right back here on this rear post for those lights. You'll notice that that rhino lining vortex was carried on back in this stall area. So it's gonna be really, really good for those horses that like to paw and kick. I've seen a lot of stock trailers that have, have held up really well to a lot of animal abuse there. This one is your telescoping um, divider here. So it'll push right in and then you can clip it back if you ever need to run with them open or if you just want to hold them back while you get 
maybe a more difficult horse loaded. It just gives you the flexibility so that you don't have to worry about that door not shutting if you need to run with this one open every now and again. Those dividers have a nice easy handle to open and close them. Very simple to operate. You don't have to worry about dropping a pin in and trying to latch it while you've got a horse fighting you on the other side. They've all got clip backs on them. So if you need to run them all clipped back, that's completely fine. Your rubber mats on the floor here, cover up. You've got several options on these bullseye floors here. On this particular one, this one's a wood floor. It's coated in that vortex lining as well. So it's gonna hold up really well, especially in Colorado where we don't have a lot of humidity or moisture. The wood floors usually outlast the trailers half the time on these ones. However, it is an organic material, so you do need to check it frequently to make sure that you don't have any issues on it. But that vortex lining is really gonna help keep the moisture off those boards and help increase the longevity of them. The other option you can do on these bullseyes is you can upgrade to an aluminum slatted floor. It is also coated in this vortex lining, so it's gonna hold up really well to any urine, but those are self-draining floors. So they actually have, have slats in them with gaps that allows the urine to leave the trailer and not sit, up, sit there on your aluminum and cause any pitting and corrosion. I think Logan does a great job uh, with their floor structures in that respect. Up on your roof there, you've got a roof vent per stall. They are two-way roof vents, so you can push them forward or pull them back, depending on which way you want the air direction to move. Now that's an aluminum sheeted roof up top. So once again, helps with that weight a little bit on these trailers. <clears throat> and then we've got rubber seals on your doors so you can keep those that last horse back there. Everybody knows they always get pretty dirty if you don't have that rubber seal in the back there. So as we work our way around here, you're gonna notice once again, another exterior light here above where you would tie those horses. We've got several different options for colors on your bullseyes. And the great thing about the Logan Bullseye is most of those colors do not have an upcharge. So if you wanted to pull a, um, a charcoal or you know a gray trailer behind you or silver, it's usually not gonna cause, cause it's not gonna cost you any extra. Every now and again they'll have a color upcharge depending on, on what their supplier kicks back. But for the most part you get a lot of choices without having to pay extra for it, which is really cool. The drop-down windows, I think, are a fan favorite for the Logans. I have a lot of people um, that are a little bit shorter that really appreciate how easy these are. Much easier with my gloves or when it's not frozen. As I say, how easy it is um, to open and close these. Uh, this bar here, the center bar, just depresses in. So, you know, if you grab it a little lower, it's fine you can grab it a little higher if you're taller just makes it really really easy to drop those windows down you're not having to mess with a with a latch on the side or up top and having to stand on the side of the trailer your jail bars Logan comes standard with the window screens on these jail bars which once again people really love that aspect uh, and then <clears throat> the center bar just depresses and you can swing this out, throw hay or feed, check on those horses, uh, put it back up for travel. So it gives you a lot of flexibility on how you set up your airflow on your trailers. You've got nice big sockets to pop these into when you're traveling so that if you want them stuck nice and flush against the side of the trailer, not worry about the wind grabbing them or anything, you can ride with those jail bars up and the windows down and get a lot of airflow on that. So as we work our way up here, you notice we've got running boards all the way along. Just makes it really easy. If you do, if you're really, really short and you need to get in there, it's really easy to access those windows and check on those horses. So as we work our way to the front here, I'll get you some information on this particular trailer. We do this one in a variety of colors, um, different layouts on these bullseyes. So if you need a three horse or a four horse, maybe a little different tack setup, always give us a call. You can check out everything on our website, transwest.com. This is stock number 5N231508. It is a 2024 Logan Coach Bullseye four-horse gooseneck. 
If you guys have any specific questions, I would be more than happy to answer them. You can reach out to me directly. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. You can call or text at that number, whatever's easier for you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope everybody has a really great Friday.